Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, free site, dwyervip.com, free site. You know, you uh, let's talk boxing. You know, you hear these stories about people who stumbled upon Amazon stock when it was just a few dollars. Or people, by the way, that's my Alexa, of course, talking to me. That's how powerful Amazon is. Or people who stumbled onto Bitcoin when it was, you know, $10 a coin or something like that. Right? Well, you have boxing's equivalent today, this morning. What I want people to do is to look in my favorites folder here on YouTube on um, yesterday's fight, the highlights between Devin Haney and Antonio Moran. Right now I'll say, I try to keep track of young fighters. I'll look at a young fighter and that fighter might have great technique, great power, but might not be a great athlete. Right? Or the young guy might be a great athlete, but not really know how to box yet. Right? I'll circle fights coming up just so I can figure out who's who before they hit the big time. It's very rare. It's very rare. When I encounter a guy who I say, okay, this guy's a great athlete. Then as I watch the fight, I say, wow, this guy's not too bad on his back foot. Then I notice the guy is a great counterpuncher. In other words, he's seeing openings, he's getting off counter shots. Then I notice the guy has an emphasis on defense. I'm telling you, a lot of young guys don't. <clears throat> right? The guy doesn't want to get hit. I also noticed the guy has a high boxing IQ, right? The guy is insistent. No matter how good he has it, he's insistent on banking body shots, right? He could be hitting the guy in the head and stuff like that. He needs to throw body shots, right? Just so it opens other openings, just so he depletes his opponent. Right? And, of course, the guy has punching power. I want people to look at that Haney-Moran fight. Don't get blinded by the knockout. Right? It's dramatic. Right? It's clean. In other words, Haney sets it up so well that the guy he's fighting doesn't even have a hand up. Right? What I want people to do instead is to just focus on how hard it is for Moran to get close enough to Haney to do anything significant. Right? Haney's just too good an athlete. Right? You're talking about a great athlete here. I haven't seen him enough to call him a freak athlete. But you're talking about a great athlete here who's young. Haney is 20 years old. And he's already figured out the value of bending at the waist, moving away from punches, having a back foot game, counter punching, being hard to find. Right? I don't say this lightly. This is a name you have to circle. Right? You have to circle. There's some elite fighters out there, and I mean elite, who I think Haney's physical attributes, his reflexes, his athleticism would simply be too much for. I believe this guy is so good. I, I look at Teofimo Lopez, a guy I have a lot of respect for, an elite counterpuncher. Right? Lopez isn't the athlete that Devin Haney is. Right? This is the guy who you see him, <clears throat> you say, wow, he looks like a natural. 
Then as you watch the guy, you realize he is a natural. Haney's a finished product today. Today, he's a finished product. Right? Circle his name. The Moran fight is masterful, but you get the feeling that Haney is ready for much more than Antonio Moran. Right? Much more. Now, he's a lightweight. I agree. The water is deep at lightweight. It's deep at 140. It's deep at 147. Right? I'll agree that there's a generation of fighters. Lomachenko, Crawford, guys in their late 20s, early 30s, <clears throat> who have been around the game a long time and are among the very best in the sport. Someone mentioned earlier when I was talking about the best fighters pound for pound in the sport that I neglected to mention Errol Spence. I apologize for that. Errol Spence is in the conversation. Right? Just understand that the next generation is already here. Haney is a good seven, eight years younger minimum than the three guys I just named. Right? My suggestion to the old guard is that you need to fight this guy soon. Because if this guy continues to develop his game, you're going to have an absolute monster on your hands. Right? So in the 80s, Mike McCallum realized he had to fight Julian Jackson before Jackson fully learned the lay of the land. I'm just telling you, this guy, Haney, is a superior talent. I'm not saying he has the experience. I'm not saying that, right? Experience counts for something. But this guy is an exper is a superior talent, in my opinion, to some of the current champions in the sport. Right? You don't get this level of hand speed, this innate understanding of spacing. I mean, just look at the spacing. Moran cannot get close to him. Right? Haney's that young guy who isn't caught up on ego. In other words, he'll concede the pocket. Right? You don't get a guy like this who makes sure he's a distance away from you before he throws that right hand to the body. Right? This is special talent. As I said, this is Amazon at a few dollars a share. Right? Watch Devin Haney. If he's fighting anyone other than a champion, you need to put him down as the winner of the fight. I don't think older guys who have a lot of savvy, Glemo Rigondeau, for example, I don't believe Rigondeau's competitive against this guy because this guy is just too athletic. I'm not saying he has Guillermo's experience and I'm sure there are certain things an experienced fighter can do to kind of try to offset some of what Haney's doing. But this is a great athlete in his prime with an understanding of boxing. Right? This is LeBron James, quite frankly, his first year in the NBA. Right? He already has one of these, you know, minor belts. He obviously has been in the sport a long time, right? He won the WBC Youth Lightweight title uh, two years ago. Okay, fair enough, right? I'm just telling you right now, this guy's fresh. He's not a shop-worn 30 years old. He has faster reflexes, better athleticism than a lot of the older guys, right? He knows the sport. He values defense. He does drop his hands once he figures out that Moran is no match for his hand speed. Right? Don't get fooled by the fact that he has his hands low. Rather, just ask yourself, what punches is Moran able to land? Right? Not many. Elite talent. The video is in my favorites folder here. Right? Haney already has a deal with DeZone. 
They figured him out, right? I'm just telling you this guy, when we say future top 10 fighter, pound for pound, right? Understand today, and it's May 2019, right? I view Haney as at least already in the top 20 in the sport, right? It's just a matter of him fighting more substantial opposition than Antonio Moran. The hand speed's there, the athleticism's there, the focus on defense, the fact that he bends at the waist and is constantly thinking about how to hide his upper body. Also, look how low he gets when he throws the right hand to the body, right? He has a certain 3D game going that Pernell Whitaker used to have, right? I'm not sure if you can teach that right let's just hope the kid doesn't blow it by you know losing his desire and dedication to you know prepare hard for each fight if this guy prepares hard for each fight you're looking at a multi-divisional champion here again Devin Haney the video is in my favorites folder here on YouTube thanks for stopping by